my previous sessions, my webinar or the white belt program, you might, you might have seen my slide. And now what I want is I want each one of you to jump inside the ring of fire. All of you are ready to jump inside? Will you jump? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Of course, right? Yes, yes. Right. If you think you can't jump, and, and no, see, generally, you know, uh, if, if, you are, if your nature of work demands, then we have to do it. So imagine something like that. So you are jumping. And now it is a ring of fire. That means the outside, outer ring is you know, having a higher temperature. It is burning. And now the ring is a circular one. Now, where will you prefer to jump inside the ring, uh, in, inside the circular ring? Center. All of you, all of you. Why all of you prefer the center? So, so, will will the center. Safe, safe that is safe. Uh, center is the safest point. Center is the point which is at a largest distance from the risky okay. point. Center is the point which is at the maximum distance from the risky zone. Similarly, in your business also, you must keep the center, no, keep the center far away from the risky zone. Far away from the risky zone. And that means you wanted to jump through the center. And now what I want is, I want you to jump repeatedly. When I want you to jump repeatedly 10 times, can you jump all 10 times in the same point? No. no. So you need, oh, some, you need some allowance. I am giving you allowance. This is why customers are also giving you the tolerance. This is why customers are also giving you the tolerance. And now the white color circle is known. Now all 10 times I want you to jump. You jump all 10 times inside the circle within the tolerance you have done it. Since you jumped beautifully, I want you to now jump 100 times. If you do very well with your customer, do you think the customer will place more orders with you? Yeah. If you do yes. well, the customer will place more order. Yes. Since you jumped well, now I want you to jump 100 times. Now tell me, will you jump all 100 times inside the white color circle? No. no. When the demand increases, your capability is expected to come down. When the customer demand increases, whatever capability you are currently seeing in your business, is expected to fall down. Clear? So, now some of your, not every jump, some of your jumps came out in the yellow color. And for some reason, I know I'm still increasing the demand. I want you to jump 1000 times. Now, what will happen? Some of your jumps will be in the orange zone. Now, the orange zone is more closer to the temperature. So, you will definitely be hit by the uh, temperature now. Your skin will be cut. And now, as you as you keep moving away from the center, can you understand your risk is increasing? Yes. If you keep moving yes. away from the center, your risk is increasing. This is what we are statistically measuring. Where are we centering our process? Are we centering our process at a preferred point or not? This is what central tendency in statistics tells, which is average, which is median, which is mode. The mean, median, and mode tells you where is your center. Center should be at a safest point. I consider a point as safest point if it is far away from the risky zone. In business, what is risky zone? When customer says you have to deliver item within 30 days, then what is your risky point? The 30th day is the risky point. Am I right? So you yes. must try to deliver ahead of 30 days. Don't go closer to 30 days. If you go closer to 30 days, for example, exactly 30th day, you are planning the delivery. Something goes wrong. Now your delivery no, will get delayed. Customer will reject the entire order. Possibles, right? So that this is what we call it centering the process. Center the process at a point which is enough away from the risky zone. So you will know where you are operating your process by calculating the central tendency. And then another thing, your consistency of performance. Consistency of performance, that is how far your uh, data is moving away from the center. Data moving away from the center is definitely not good. Center should be at the correct point. Even you keep the center at the correct point, still your data can try to move away from the center. Isn't it still data can move away from the center? 
and that is what you are measuring in terms of standard deviation the tendency of your data to move away from the center is called variation this is what we are capturing in standard deviation this is what we are capturing in variance this is what we are capturing in range so there are two measures that will completely speak about any population one is central tendency another one is variation central tendency one measure is mean another measure is and the variation is standard deviation and same is the you no know, uh, meaning for the other central tendency also so mean will help you to capture central tendency standard deviation will help you to capture variation is that clear why do we require mean and standard deviation in business process we want to understand where are we centering our process we want to understand what is the degree of variation our goal is central tendency should be at a enough distance from the target no right at the required distance from the target even something goes wrong i don't want to see the failure in my company you you decide your distance the distance can be 3 sigma the distance can be 6 sigma if the distance is 3 sigma your process is called a 3 sigma process if the distance is 6 sigma the process is called a 6 sigma process more the distance more safer is the no performance am i right sir and then standard deviation even if you position the center correctly still standard deviation can play and spoil your result all of you joined the black belt program still you can escape from learning am i right all of you joined the program central tendency is good intention is good but after joining the program you are not participating you are absent for all the six days so same same way failure can happen because of the standard deviation also because of the variation average central tendency is favorable but variation is not favorable then also failure will happen always two things you need to monitor central tendency is it at the right place variation is it low or not central tendency should be at the right place variation should be too small am i right if the variation is too small you are consistent enough every time you perform the way it is required and now understanding the normality and see here sigma equal to square root of summation of x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 this is the formula you can use to calculate the standard deviation you have calculated it and standard deviation tells you how close how close or how far the values of your data set are in relation to the mean 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 center and now on the other side i see all of you studied standard deviation in your lower school right lower level classes all of you studied the same formula only i am bringing now but you must learn to use it in your business now and now there is a triangle here and in the triangle there is a center line drawn is that center line divide your triangle exactly into two half yes Yes. whenever whenever a line divides the shape into exactly two of the shape is considered to be symmetrical the shape is considered to be symmetrical, symmetrical. now i remove one half of the triangle similarly the other half of the triangle the same line divides this bell shape also into exactly two of am i right the same line yes. divides the bell shape also into exactly two of yes the bell shape yes. whenever you see a bell shape the bell shape distribution is called normal distribution normal distribution curve is always symmetrical at the center this is one important property of normal distribution again dr rk will teach you in detail about the normal distribution but you should be able to understand that's why i am teaching you the basics of it right so in a normal distribution the curve is symmetrical at the center what will be at the center the mean will be at the center the median will be at the center mode will be at the center clear and then if you get all the three at the same point mean equal to median equal to mode that is you know the the best normality that is the best normality right and then what you know how to use the mean you know how to use the mean how will you use the standard deviation see i am moving away from the center now i have come here what is the distance of this point from the center can somebody tell me what is the distance of this point from the center mu plus standard deviation one standard, standard deviation one standard, standard deviation is added right i yeah. i move away by one standard deviation now i am at now i am at mu plus sigma i move away by one more standard deviation now i am at mu plus 2 sigma the mu plus 2 sigma is called warning limit 
Why do I call it warning limit? You already know moving away from the center is not good. Am I right? Moving away from the center is not good. When you come to mu plus two sigma to to help you understand that what you are doing is wrong, I am calling this as warning limit. And I again move further even beyond warning limit. Now where am I? Mu plus three sigma. The mu plus three sigma is control limit. The mu plus three sigma is control limit. I call it control limit only to help you understand that you have moved far, far away. There is only, you know, there is only very, very few beyond this. You have moved far away already. There is nothing to see beyond this. There is only a very, very small thing beyond three sigma. This point is called what? Control limit. Same way. What is this point called? Mu minus two sigma. Warning limit on the left side. Am I right? Yeah. What is this point? Control limit on the left mm -hmm. side. So right side, you will call it upper control limit. Left side, you will call it lower control limit. What is this mu plus two sigma on the right side? Upper warning limit. This is lower warning limit. All of you understand what is warning limit and what is control limit? Can you produce products beyond warning limit? No, Don't sir. produce. Because you already learned that center is the safest point. Position the center correctly and then trust the center. Right? Position the center correctly and then follow the center. That's all. You have decided to learn the Six Sigma with us and now learn with us. That's all. Now don't deviate from us. You have joined here. You have made a right decision. And then now deviate from here. If you deviate from here, then again there will be a failure. Isn't it? So same approach. Position your center at the correct place and produce everything around the center. Deviating from the center is not good. Mu plus two sigma is the warning limit. You can understand a failure is going to happen. Mu plus three sigma is called a control limit. And you know, and now once you understand the control limit, one property normal distribution will teach you. 99.73 percentage of the points you have used, you have collected from you from your process will lie inside three sigma limit. 99.73 percentage of the data you collected from the process will definitely lie inside three sigma limit. This is an important property of normal distribution. Any process, anything you collect, 99.73 percentage of the data will lie inside control limit. I'm going to prove it right now. If the data is collected properly, we have been telling you, you know, insisting you repeatedly, you must collect without error. If you learn to collect the data without error, particularly measurement error and sampling error, whatever rule you are applying to the sample can be applied to the population also. This is why, this is how normal distribution is helping you. This is why, you know, collecting the data without error is important. When I collect the data, my definitely my sample data, 99.73 percentage of my sample data will definitely lie within control limit. Same thing will happen with my population also. What is my population? Everything I'm going to produce, you know, next one month. When you collected the data, today I collected the data. That is my sample. Just with my today's sample, I am going to predict, you know, my all my products which I am going to produce next to one month. Next to one month, how many products I may produce? I may produce thousands of products. I may produce millions of products. But a small sample will make you judge on the thousands and lakhs of products you are going to produce in the future if the sample is collected without error. All of you now understand the importance of collecting the data without committing measurement error, without committing sampling error. If you take care of both, your sample will speak much, much better and help you to understand the reality. Right. And now the three sigma limits are called the control limit. In plain English, you can call them as the process extremities. Now, how to use the mean sir, and standard deviation? Yes. Sir, uh, this uh, for the sample collection, no? because in some of the cases, what uh, uh, in our organizations also, um, we have noticed this, uh, the samples collection will be expensive, you know? 